the new news, she's slaying the city. No makeup, just wake up and still giving the free. Get the lights, camera, and she cuts as big as a movie. And grab a seat and now tune with disastrous beauty. sure 
somebody with a, a larger head or a smaller head has also reviewed this unit so if you need to just kind of do your research but to me in my opinion i feel like you can it may be a little snug okay you know what don't let me say that i'm not gonna say it's big head friendly i'm gonna say it's small to medium head friendly Okay, I take that back. Scratch that. Scratch, scratch, scratch that. I'm going to say that it is small to medium head friendly, but you may be able to wiggle in it <laughs> if you have a bigger head. So just kind of keep that in mind, but that is just my personal opinion. I don't come for me later. Now, uh, it does say this unit is 20 inches, and I guess, uh, yeah, I can see it being about 20 inches. Um, I find it odd that it's on here because I'm not really used to the synthetic wigs saying their lengths. I know there are certain ones that will, but usually like they're really long like you know 30 inch whatever i'm not really used to that um now as far as the baby hairs and the transparent lace uh, i i will say that the lace is transparent the baby hairs are not natural honey you need to cut oh girl okay cut cut them baby hairs unless you like your baby hairs to be very large i know that's a thing um i have tried it child is not really my cup of tea i like it on other people i just don't like it on me so it just depends on you but it does come with the baby hairs and all that good stuff shedding and tangling with this wig i haven't noticed not any of that straight out of the package not to say at some point it won't but straight out of the package this unit was not tangly and i didn't notice any shedding with it so yeah that's pretty much it as far as the details and specs go with this wig now if you're interested in the pros and cons then please continue to watch all right, so you guys know I like to start with the cons because I like to end on a high note. To me, the con with this wig will be the fact that, you know, it doesn't give you a whole lot of room. Even though it's, it's giving that frontal of effect, it doesn't give you a whole lot of room to do, you know, to make it not look quite as a wiggy, in my opinion. So, yeah, that, that would be my con with it. Um... It's not bad, but I just feel like we're kind of past that. Like, I feel like we should have evolved past this sort of style. I don't mind it. Let me see how much it costs, because that's really going to determine the price. Hold on. I mean, not the price. That's really going to determine the con. Okay, so on wig tights, it says that the unit is $33.94. Uh, in my opinion... <laughs> okay, so it says it's $33.94. In my opinion, that that's not a terrible price, not for today's wigs. I think if it was maybe $40, it would be a bigger deal. But I still feel like it should be a little bit more evolved. So that's just going to have to be my con. It's just that I just feel like it, they could have just gave a little more room in that general area. But it's not a huge con, but it's a con, nevertheless, for me. Now, my pros with this wig is I love the color. I love the texture. I love the style. I like, you know, how it's just kind of layered to be sort of like in your face. Um, I am getting a little poofiness up here, and I need to probably put a little more heat. But, the, I mean, I just like the overall style of the unit. So, those are my pros with it. Honestly, yeah. I would recommend this wig. I think it is a really good, cute wig. I think it can be great for every day. And I also think it could be great for going out. I feel like it's one of those wigs that is versatile enough that you can wear it. Uh, day or night you know what I mean so I, I really like it and I, I would recommend it like I, I feel like the price isn't crazy it's crazy in comparison to you know what we uh were used to paying for wigs uh you know synthetic wigs at one point but honey it is what it is honey so yeah in my opinion um I think I think I would recommend it so let me know if y'all think it like do y'all think it's worth it let me know down below in the comments all right, honey, so let me give you guys this full 360 so we can wrap this thing all the way up. So this is obviously the unit in the front. This is it on the left side. This is it in the back. And this is it on the right side. So let me know down below what you guys think about this unit. Let me know if you own this wig and if you love this wig. Let me know down below in the comments. Sound off in the comments. I am interested in your you guys' thoughts and opinions. And yeah, y'all, that is basically it. If you are interested in this unit, I will have a direct link to it down below in the description box for your convenience. And yeah, girl, that's all. That's all. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, if you feel like I may have left out, feel free to comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, girl, click that subscribe button. It's not going to cost you not one red cent. And if you're not already following me on all my social media platforms, I am Disastrous Beauty on both IG and TikTok. I'm held to miss you on Snapchat, and I'm Disastrous B on Twitter. And I will see you, love bugs, next time. Bye.